Have you been wanting to create a recipe app but don't really know how to code? Well, let me show you how you can build your own recipe app with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you have really been wanting to put out a recipe app or maybe a cookbook app where you can sell things, but you really don't know how to do all that HTML and CSS, JotForm is gonna allow you to drag and drop and build your own app without having to know any of that. So let's go ahead and get started. At the very top, we can see right now I'm in my forms. Let's go ahead, click there and jump over to my apps and we're gonna create a brand new app. So top left hand corner, purple create app. And if you already kind of know what you want, you can always start from scratch. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the very next one that says use template. And I'm just gonna do a quick search for recipe. And I think this very first one is a good one for us to start with. So let's go ahead and preview this app. We'll go ahead and use the template. Now you can see with templates, it gives you a great jumping off point. And the great thing about this is every single aspect of this is editable and can be personalized to you. So for example, maybe ours isn't called the flavor Bible. So we can go ahead and change the app title. Let's call this the recipe lounge. And for now, we can go ahead and leave that description. If we want to change that logo right now, it's that chef's hat. We can play with that too. Let's jump over to the food one and let's make it, how about a cupcake? I think that looks great. Now, if we want to change the style, we can change the background, but let's go ahead and X out of the header. Now, as we scroll, we see the opportunity to sell things. So maybe this is where we're going to sell our cookbook or cook books, or maybe individual recipes, whatever it is you are needing. So if I click on this, I can see that it is pretty much a product list. Now from here, we can come in, we can choose the gear and we can delete to get rid, or we can click the clone option to make things really easy. But all we need to do is choose the pencil. We can change the price if we want to. So let's say that I want to sell my cookie cookbook, my cookie recipes for only $5. It's a special right now. If you wanna learn how to bake cookies, you can get it for $5. And of course we can put a description and we always wanna add an image so people can actually see what they are going to be getting. So we can go ahead and go back. And now we see that our cookie recipe book is $5. Now, one thing that we are going to need to do is we need to add a payment gateway. So I can see right here, the store properties, it has a little exclamation point. So let's go ahead and click on this. And I personally would like to use PayPal business, but again, there's a ton of different payment integrations or payment gateways that you can choose. So choose the one that's gonna be best for you. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's connect. And if you would like to put this in test mode to make sure everything runs properly, you can do that. And we can edit how the button looks when people check out as well. But as of right now, I think we're good to go. I can go ahead and choose the save option. So we are now good to go. Now from here, we can also choose the product settings. We can have this be a single column that looks pretty much just like that product list. We can even have things in three columns, make it a little bit smaller. I kind of like the three columns. So I'll go ahead and leave that on. And we can also turn off search. So maybe we only have one or two items. We really don't need a search option, but we have quite a few. So I think having that search option right up here is pretty beneficial. So we also have our checkout page. So if we need to edit or change any of these, this is where we're going to be do that. We can add elements as well, but let's go ahead and keep scrolling. So here we have these different buttons. And whenever I click on it, I see this orange button, which means that it is a form. So let's say you would like for your users to share recipes with you. We can do that. You can add the share recipe. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that form looks like. Recipe name, dish type, everything that you would need to know for that recipe. And then you have information so that way you can make sure to credit them whenever you add their recipe to your book. Then we have a recipe cost report. Let's take a look at this form. Perfect, price per unit, love it. All right, let's head back. Now we also have this recipe right here and this looks like it's going to take us to a table. And we can see that this is more in the Kanban type style instead of like a normal spreadsheet type. But here is where you see all of the recipe information, perfect. All right, let's head back over. 
Now we also have our social follow option and anything that you would like to add on the left hand side, very similar to our form builder, we can drag and drop anything in that we need testimonials. Here's that social follow. But if we come down here, we see there's a page break. And if you look down in the very bottom of my screen, we can see we're right now on the home, but then we have this week's favorite. So right here we have kind of like a spotlight on a recipe. And this week it is tomato soup. We have that one recipe. And then we have one last page and this is going to be that contact information. And this is going to be shown during the checkout process because you can see right down here on the bottom it's not showing it's not going to show until someone has started that checkout process so as of right now i think we're good to go just remember we can make this exactly how we need it again very very simple to duplicate this so we have our soups and it's right down here at the bottom let's go ahead and edit this very simple to change the name go ahead and call this one cakes 50 dollars is good and then we can change this image choose images and I'll bring in a picture of some cake. Perfect. And if we scroll down, we see our cakes right here. So let's go ahead up in the very top. Let's go ahead and look at the settings option. We can change what the app name is. So right now we have the recipe book app. I remember we're going to call this the recipe lounge and we can change what the icon looks like. So if we want to edit the icon, we can come in here again. We chose that cupcake. And let's go ahead and change the background color. Maybe want it to be a mint green. Perfect. Good deal. Now we can also edit our splash screen. Whenever someone opens our app, we can change that background color to that mint green again. Perfect. So let's go ahead up to publish. We can copy this link to send it however we would like. We can open a new tab. We can even share via social media, but let's go ahead and preview our app here. And here is our mobile view of our app. We can see it's that one column. If you want, you can change it over to desktop so we can see what that is going to look like. But let's go ahead and let's order ourselves a cookie recipe book. Let's go ahead and order now. And here's where it takes us to that last screen that wasn't visible until we start that checkout process. All right, let's proceed to payment. And we'll do a debit or credit. And we'll order for $5. All right, now, since I had my name and my email, I now have pretty much an account with this app. So I can go to my previous orders and I can see my inbox and here is my cookie book. So let's go ahead and jump out of the preview and we can come back up to the top. We can head over to tables and we can see that all of those forms are kind of lumped together. So first we have that recipe sharing form. So these are all those recipes that were shared with us via that form I showed you. Next we have the recipe ingredients cost form. We can remove that filter. We would see them there, but let's jump to orders because this is where I ordered our book. I paid by card. I got the cookies cookbook and it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to create your own recipe app without having any coding knowledge, definitely let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.